Today, I'm busting clickbait Minecraft hacks that seem real, but are 100% fake. Watch until the end to see how many creators we expose. Burning Iron Gear gives you diamond gear. <laughs> Excuse me, what? That is just popping into his hopper. That is so obviously fake. The only thing you're gonna get from burning all your iron armor is depression. Once it all literally disappears to the lava, let's do exactly what they did. Break out two blocks, place down all of this iron armor, and apparently I just chuck a lava in here to pop some baby tree. Oh wow, where is, where is my diamond armor? Oh wait, it's not here, it's not here. Wow, what a shock, guys. We're exposing this creator for scamming the poor kids who burnt their armor up. It's pretty obvious what they did. There's only one way to have items pop into your hotbar like that, and that way is the command block way, guys. Of course they used a bunch of command blocks. Basically, all they were doing is they had a repeating, always active command block that is testing for lava on these coordinates. And now if I stand right where we placed that lava, 47763, negative 123. So this block is testing for the lava. And basically, guys, if I put a redstone comparator... So now if we place the lava bucket right here, the redstone comparator will turn on... What's going on? Technical difficulties? Oh, okay, there it is, guys. It just took a minute to catch up. All right, so we've got that active. We're going to get rid of the lava for the time being. Basically, coming out of this one, we're going to have one command block here that gives us a diamond chest plate. Then above here, oh, we need to make sure this is facing upwards, guys. The little arrow's going up so that it points into our next command block, a chain command block, which gives us diamond leggings. And you can already guess the rest. This one's going to give us a diamond helmet. And the final one is going to give us some diamond boots. We need ourselves that beautiful iron armor. Basically, they put this down on the ground. They made it look like the iron armor was turning into diamond, but all it was doing is testing for that lava. It burns up the iron armor, and watch my hot bar here, guys. Boom, 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 boom. Just like the video, we got ourselves some diamond armor, except it wasn't from the lava. It was from our good friends, the command blocks. Exposed! Minecraft player IQ, negative 200. What are we crafting here? Oh, diamond hose. That is the biggest waste of diamonds. And we're combining them to make a diamond pickaxe. What? Either this is just trash clickbait to get views or it's a meme. Either way, it is a fake. Let me show you here, guys. We'll go ahead and craft ourselves two hoes. I'm in bedrock edition, just like they were in the video. Boom. There we go. Let's combine our hoes and... Wow, that, that just gave us another diamond hoe. No diamond pickaxe to be seen. But we can make this real, guys, with a little bit of a tinkering. All we're gonna do is come down to our resource packs and come to my packs and add, ooh, what is this vanilla resource pack? Hmm, I wonder. Then come to our behavior packs. I'm going to activate this more crafting add-on and a vanilla behavior pack that I totally didn't make. So let's try this again. We'll put our sticks in the crafting table, go ahead and craft ourselves our two diamond hoes. And now when we go ahead and combine those, boom, diamond pickaxe! Minecraft broken! What we actually did was retexture and rename bamboo to a diamond hoe. You can actually tell the actual diamond hoe has equipment and it says five plus damage, but this one here just says nature. That's how you can tell it's not the right one. And when you combine these two fake diamond hoes, it gives us a diamond pickaxe. Pretty straightforward when you're trying to expose some clickbaiters. So we got some sort of nether portal machine and we're digging up snow? Why exactly? Wait, wait, wait. What's that in the inventory? Is that a... Is that a... A portal... No, that is illegal, Minecraft. There is no way that is real. I don't believe I do not believe it. Not for a second. It works just like a normal portal. Uh-huh. Now, unfortunately, they didn't exactly show us the redstone behind the nether portal that makes this all work. Probably because it actually doesn't work. Luckily, I was able to study the piston's movement and figure it out. Because I've done enough redstone in my lifetime, guys. And I'm now being cocky and boastful. And if I stuff this up, it's going to be embarrassing. Block with a lever out the front. We know that much. Then behind here, they would need a repeater. And the piston's going to be moving in and out along with an observer block. So we have that there. Redstone dust goes underneath. One up. Redstone dust here. We need a repeater, repeater going into there, we needed our sticky piston to be just here. And the sticky piston was attached to the snow block that was going in and out of the portal. And now we need the dispenser constantly firing into this portal. So we have a dispenser there. Okay, I know they had a stone pressure plate out here. I'm not 100% sure what that's for, but it was there. Oh, wait, no, I know exactly what's that for. That was to keep the water in bay. Wait, but how did they stop? Oh, wait, the snow block started there? Okay, um, the snow block started out there because the water wasn't flowing when this clip started, okay? But then we need an observer up here, and it's got to be facing that direction. That is to come back. We need a stone block there, and then redstone above here. Wait, and then we need a dispenser there. Okay, I'm really hoping this works, guys. Now we're going to put a flint and stone on this dispenser, flint and stone on that dispenser, and that looks right to me. Then I've got my wooden shovel here with efficiency two. Now, it also had silk touch in the video, which is something I missed. So let's go ahead and give ourselves silk touch one, and now we'll switch into survival mode. They stood on that pressure plate, hit the lever, Hmm. That does not work. That, okay. 
That is absolutely not working. Either I stuffed up the redstone or you literally can't do this without commands. I honestly don't know. I might have to try this again and see if I can figure out another way. Well, this is embarrassing. I was bragging about being a redstone master and I stuffed it up, guys. I played around with it a bit. I finally figured it out. I need to have a cobblestone block here with a redstone torch which turns it off and then have that come into our dispenser here because of the way redstone works on bedrock edition. And then in here, I'm supposed to have the bucket of water, not a flint and steel. I'm so dumb. And then we also need a redstone torch under there. All right, now that we've set that up, check it out, guys. Wabam, it's moving in and out just like it was in the TikTok. However, this isn't gonna make much of a difference, at least in my opinion. I still don't think this is real. Let's go ahead and switch it to survival. They stood on the command block and dug out the snow and wham! Dig it up, dig it up. I do not see any portal blocks in my inventory here, guys. So yeah, this is definitely fake. It's about time we expose these clickbaiters. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the minute I saw that portal block, I knew this use commands, because that's the only way you can get that block. We had a repeating, always active command block that was testing for air on the coordinates of the snow block. So every time that snow block gets pulled, it activates this redstone comparator going into this repeating commands block that's on need redstone. And this is testing for a player on the coordinates of the pressure plate. And when a player is standing there, it will then activate this redstone comparator, which will go into this always active command block that will teleport an item to a radius of three to these coordinates there. And that item just so happens to be the portal block, which we've got inside this dispenser here. That'll go in there, activate that dispenser, it'll shoot out the portal block, and then this command here will teleport that item over here. So it looks like it's actually coming out of that dispenser there. All right, so let's go ahead, switch it to survival. Now we gotta hit the lever and dig up the snow. Here we go, guys, dig up the snow, bang and boom, and check it out. We got ourselves that beautiful portal block. We can place that down. And just like in the video, it is going to work. This clickbait thought they could get the best of us. Not today. So what's Alexa Real doing today? A villager torture device? I can get around that. <laughs> oh, goodbye, Mr. Villager. You're about to die. Excuse me. What kind of trade is that? That is blasphemy. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Hit the lever. I want him dead. Oh, yes. Good old villager suffocation. Excuse me. What? You're telling me if I slam a villager into bedrock and turn it to the stick? That is hilarious. If this is a meme, this is hilarious. Guys. Look, honestly, this is probably... What is that thick villager? That is a thick boy. <laughs> I don't know if this is clickbait or if it's a meme. What, what is the... Okay, we have a giraffe-looking villager over here right now, guys. Look, either way, this has got to be fake, but I can definitely figure out a way to make this real because I want the Mr. Flat Villager Pancake Man in my world. <laughs> But we'll build the exact same setup there. Bedrock. We had some barriers here to keep the villager in place. And boom, this was connected up to some redstone dust. That's got to go up one block like so, I think. And then into our lever here. Boom. Yeah, well, as you guys can see, now I'm finally getting the villager torture I wanted. Waiting patiently. There he goes. Goodbye. Okay, but seriously, I gotta figure out how to make this meme real. Now, at first I thought, it's a meme. It's obviously a mod. But it turns out there was actually a little bit of clickbait going on to you guys with some hidden command blocks combined with a mod. Basically, under each of these levers, it wasn't just the lever. Because still, even with the mod, when I cross this villager, he's going to die here, guys. What was actually happening is underneath this lever, guys, we're gonna have two command blocks facing downwards. So one here, which uses this weird command, which is a peck scale delay set, peck you height 20, and does it on a Minecraft villager inside a range of five. And then under here, we need to have a chain command block coming down. And then this one here then changes the width. So the top changes the height, and this one changes the width, allowing it to look like a squashed villager. So we do that, we undo it, and boom, we have a very, very funky looking villager. Like, what is that? What is that, guys? So as you can see, it wasn't entirely just a meme. There was a bit of clickbait going on to you guys. The next one, we have basically just the same commands, but with a different width and a different height. So now if we go ahead and... Oh, I got rid of the lever there, guys. Oopsie daisies. If we put our uh, Mr. Villager just over here. Okay, we can, we can do two at once. Boom. As you can see, that's going to crush them out into being wide. <laughs> These guys just look hilarious. And finally, guys, again, same commands, just a different width and height underneath that lever hidden there. We'll go ahead and place down our villager. Boom. Hit this lever. Mr. Villager, I do not want another one of you. Hit the lever. And 
it's a bomb. As you can see, guys, we'll unleash that lever and we have ourselves Mr. Giraffe Boy. So I'm a little bit disappointed. It wasn't completely, I mean, there was a bit of clickbait, but either way, we exposed it. A piston and bedrock. The start of every clickbait clip ever. We got an amethyst crystal and a shulker, and we hit that one. We get squish shulker this time. <laughs> Oh, okay, that is obviously a fake transition where a cut was made, and we've got ourselves an amethyst block. Okay, this obviously just used a cut to you guys. It's so clearly fake, but I reckon I can make this work without a cut. Let's give it a go. So let's get this over and done with our shulker, our amethyst crystal, and our bedrock, and boom! Yeah, well, that just made the shulker angry and made him teleport away. That clearly did not work, but I know exactly how we can make this work without a cut. That's right, guys. We're taking this to the next level. In fact, I'm even going to imitate the same particles that he used for the cut in the video in-game. Basically, under this lever here, guys, we're going to have a bunch of funky little command blocks. That's right. Here we go. So first up, we have a command that's going to give us our, our sound for the explosion that was used in the video during the cut. Then we're going to have a particle that's going to give us a poof, the smoke particle. Under that, we're going to have another command block, which is going to replace the amethyst uh, with an amethyst block. Then we're going to have another chain, which is going to get rid of the shulker teleporter really, really far away. And then we're good to go. So now if we go ahead and grab ourselves another shulker, place him back, hit that lever, boom. Okay, well, I mean... I mean, that, that didn't work, but it's okay. We can figure out a way to make it work. Um, this is embarrassing, guys. Why, why, what did I stuff up? Guys, don't look, don't look, don't look. What, did I, what happened? Oh my goodness, I actually so small brain in the video. He put the lever here directly above the command blocks. We hit that and boom, check it out. We got ourselves up. Oh, I stuffed up again. This is really embarrassing, guys. I'm sorry for stuffing up so many times, all right? <laughs> Come here some slack, okay? Okay, let's hope I got this right for the fifth billionth time. Boom. Yes, <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, that took way too many tries here, guys. But as you can see, look at that. It even looks just like the transition they had in the video. Santia, boom. We got ourselves an amethyst cluster. Oh boy, I'm so glad that's over. Instant treehouse. Mm-hmm, sure. Oh yes, that emoji definitely makes me think this is real. We're chucking a bunch of wood at diamonds and then using bone mill on four jungle saplings. Okay, this just looks like a normal jungle tree. Oh, I know you can do this. You don't need to throw the items at... Wait, excuse me. Oh yes, this, this treehouse that you put diamonds and wood into magically has a netherite armor set, a full treehouse pre-build, Oh, and, and a nether portal. Why am I even trying this, guys? I already know this is fake. Okay, here we go. We'll place in our diamonds, our oak planks, our oak logs. I, what is the life anymore? What is life? Watch this, guys. Bang, 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 bang. Wow, it's not even... <laughs> it's not even growing because there are trees here. Can we can we clear some space here so I can just show this is fake? Yeah, wow. Well, where's my, where's my treehouse? I feel so scammed. I totally had no idea that this was fake. We are going to expose these clickbaiters once and for all. First step to a great treehouse, build it yourself. Except if you want to clickbait someone, build it underground. That's right, guys. That's exactly what they did. They have this treehouse completely pre-built and ready to go with the nether portal, everything. Got ourselves all of our items ready to go. And they basically just teleported that uh, treehouse up to the ground when it detected for these saplings. How did it do that? Well, when I said teleported, you should have known that command blocks were coming. We have a repeating always active command, which is testing for jungle logs over on these coordinates here where we're gonna plant the saplings. When it does that, it's gonna clone the tree from underground above ground. Then we just need a bunch of conditional command blocks to make sure everything goes okay. You guys can see here, we got ourselves this one here, which will kill all of the items. And as you can see right now, um, there's a lot of weird things going on, guys. I promise we will fix that up because we need to actually change all of these command blocks here to conditional so we don't have a million villagers falling from the sky. Okay, that should... Okay, that netherite... Anytime that netherite stand can stop itself. Oh, wait. I forgot to turn the top to the conditional. There we go. All right, we'll just get rid of that. Now, you see, you can't actually teleport entities and both the villager and the armor stand here are entities. Okay, that is a lot of... Bang. All right, we got rid of that. Now we'll come back to here. This one is killing all items that we dropped. This one's going to summon in the villager because we can't teleport that. Then we summon in a second villager like we saw in the video. And finally, we need to summon in the armor stand with the netherite armor. Very complex commands, guys, here. If you actually want to try this in your own world, you can copy them down yourself. But I'm just going to show you that this does, in fact, work. We plant down our jungle saplings here. Then we go ahead chuck in all of our items that we need. It doesn't actually matter what items you chuck in here at all, because once we go ahead and bone mill this bad boy, boom, you can see, check this out, we've got ourselves the exact same treehouse 
in the video with the netherite armor here and if we come up we've got ourselves that nether portal and the two villages that were in the video ah clickbaiters they really think they could beat us but they can't why don't you join the ey team and stop clickbaiters with me by subscribing now guys and for the next clickbait hack we're exposing you're gonna have to watch the next video that's all the time we've got for today i'll see you in the next one till then ey stream out Bye.